That's the perks of owning an Infiniti G35. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Carvin Reg and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of owning a Infiniti G35. So if you're interested in this topic, I definitely say you should stay tuned onto the video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And y'all already know, I did it for the G37. I actually made two videos for the G37, the pros and cons. So it's only right to do it for the G35. But let's go ahead and get into the pros right now. So the first pro is that there's a lot of mods that you can do with this car. You can do wide bodies, turbochargers, superchargers. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with the engine. Um, you can do tunes. You can do exhaust work. You can, um, you know, uh, uh, body kits, all different type of stuff. What you can do with the Infiniti G35 um, has a lot of parts out there, even a lot of maintenance parts. You know what I'm saying? That you, I don't prefer you doing this, but you know, if you want to get aftermarket parts like, like suspension stuff and, you know, uh, belts and all different type of stuff, you know, stuff for maintenance. It has a whole lot of aftermarket parts available for you. And this car also shares the same powertrain as a Nissan 350Z. So you already know, it's gonna be a lot of parts for this car. They're gonna continue making parts for these cars because this car is still popular. A lot of people like this car. This is a legendary car. It's Infiniti G35. This is what stamped Infiniti like into the game. For me, what I believe is that, you know, this car put Infiniti on the G35 and I had a first generation G35. So, you know, this car definitely, you know, stamped Infiniti, put Infiniti on the map and you know look where they at today you know what i'm saying the g37 the q50 q60 you know the fx you know qx55 now so many cars Infinity was on their last leg and then they came out with this and they went crazy but that'll be the first pros that there's a lot of mods that you can do and it also shares the same powertrain as a 350z so you don't have to worry about parts ever with this car the second pro with the g35 is that this car is very 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 reliable despite what you heard now a lot of people when they get these cars they bring in massage shows they do a whole bunch of stuff with it and they make it unreliable and then a lot of people talk bad on them like they're not good cars and stuff but if you actually take care of this car it could definitely get you over 250k easily it can get you there just like the same thing with the g37 like these vq motors man they're bulletproof stuff breaks down but if you do the maintenance and you try to prevent it as much as you can and you know you good not saying that your engine's gonna go out i mean i believe i believe no engine really goes out as long as you do like the oil changes and you do tune-ups and stuff like that i feel like it'll be like kind of hard for your engine to really just go out you know what i'm saying unless you was kind of lacking or if it got really 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 old with heck of miles but i don't really see like an engine really just going out unless you wasn't keeping up on the maintenance i feel like that's the only way an engine would really go out um because i never heard of like like if you up on your maintenance you're doing everything to it you're taking good care of it you don't beat on your car nothing like that i never heard of stories like oh my engine went out there's always a transmission or something like that but an engine will go out if you know you you beating on it or if you're not doing the maintenance you know that's required to keep the, the you know the engine up but anyways the car is very 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 reliable um, it's definitely gonna get you to A to B to B to C all the way to Z. So you ain't even got to worry about that. The only thing, you know, with this car is that, of course, you have to buy it used now. If you choose to buy this car, just make sure you get the service records of this car because um, you want to know if it was taken care of properly. Like I said before, like, especially if you're buying it in the Bay Area, this car, this car is the sideshow king right now. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people take this car to the sideshow, beat on it, and then, you know, try to get rid of it. So... For you to try to prevent that, just get the service records. Make sure you buy from someone who actually been taking care of the car. A lot of signs of someone who took care of the car, clean interior, the paint still looks good. Um, you know, it's, it, it gets clean. And then also, you know, any visible leaks and stuff like that. And then they should want to show you the service records. Like, oh, I got all my service records. Like for me, for instance, if I was to sell this car today, I have all my service records that I did to the car. So you will want to buy from people like that. But anyways, the car is very, very, very reliable. It's definitely going to get you to where you got to go. Um, road trips, all different type of stuff. And I'm not saying that you can't get on this car because that's what it's made for. It's made for you to get on it. I get on my car, but I make sure that everything is good. You know what I'm saying? Before I get on it. Like I know that for me, like I'm not going to get on this car if I know that it needs spark plugs or if it needs like a new timing chain or 
and needs, you know, something crazy. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't get on this car like that. But if everything is running smooth and running fine, I have no problems. I don't. I never. I, I haven't had a problem with the G35. Now I don't drive it as much, but every, when I've been driving it, it's been real smooth to me. It's been real good. So um, if you're in the market to get a G35, go ahead and get a G35. Um, people will always say, oh, well, blah, 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 but don't listen to them. The car is reliable, trust me. So um, I said this on the first um, pros and cons when I did this with a G37, um, but I'm gonna kind of reverse it a little bit. Um, maintenance is not that expensive on the G35. It is if you take it to a shop, but if you take it to an independent shop, like I've been doing, it's really not that expensive. When I did the valve covers on this car, um, at the dealership, it'll cost me, I think, like 1400 I believe they said, but on, I ended up paying like, I think, oh, I thought paying a little bit under the band. So I think like around eight, nine hundred dollars I paid for that that service but if i would have went to the dealership like 14 1500 easily but they're not that expensive especially regular maintenance is not that expensive like oil changes and stuff like that it is more pricier than what i came from but yeah when i made that g37 video i literally just hopped out the agra to get a g37 and it was a big difference as in maintenance for me to think about it and me hearing about other people cars like my uh my partner's uh, uh scat pack and um, I be hearing stories about Hellcats and stuff. This ain't got nothing on that. So they're not really expensive, um, especially the basic maintenance, like your fluid changes and um, and oil changes, not expensive. I think I pay like $50 for oil changes for both of the cars. So that's not expensive. And like I said, I get oil changes frequently. But I'm actually thinking about getting an oil change today with this G35 because I need it. Now, let's get into the cons of owning an Infiniti G35. The first con is I'm a backtrack to the first one. Um, I mean, to the third one I said. I said maintenance is not that expensive, but it can be expensive if it was maintained poorly. Now, what I mean by that, someone wasn't getting their oil changed. Someone wasn't getting their um, the tra the transmission uh, uh, fluid changed. Someone wasn't getting their differential, uh, differential changed. Someone never did spark plugs. Someone never did valve covers. All that. Everything when it comes to like maintaining the car, they didn't do, which results into a bad car. If you buy a car in that position, you're just gonna cost a lot of money to maintain it and to get it up right because there's a lot of things that can go wrong with a car that hasn't been maintained right. So if they haven't been maintained right, I honestly suggest you stay away from it. If you was to buy a G35 and it was maintained poorly, this could be a bad car for you just a heads up um another con in this car is what i experienced is that sometimes the gas gauge would trip out you know what i'm saying i don't know if it's because it's older now um i heard a lot of i heard a lot of stories about the gas gauge and also seen a lot of videos with people with their g35 you know having gas gauge problem where it's like it has trouble like reading the gas or how much gas you actually got in it i heard if you like clean like um something is it the uh the filter the, the fuel filter? I, i'm not too sure but if you clean something it should help but i'm just letting you guys know that um with this car just make sure you have gas and kind of know your car because um I, I feel like the car has trouble reading gas if that makes sense and then also i had ran into a problem at the pump um probably a couple of months ago i was putting gas in the car right and you know how normal cars would just click off, you know, when it get full, right? Well, this one didn't. It kept on pumping, it kept on pumping, it kept on pumping. I'm like, damn, I think it's supposed to stop right now. And then, boom, heck of gas come pouring out, stuff like that. So, this is the only car that I experienced that with. So, not with the G37, just with the G35. So, just a heads up, y'all. Just learn about the car. Know about how much gas you got. Know how far you can take it, but... I wouldn't take it too far. I would start to fill up like probably a little bit under half, just so you know. That's what I do with this car. Just try to fill up a little bit under half. Sometimes I'll take it below, which I'm at right now, but I kind of learned this car and I know how much gas I got. Cause sometimes like if I turn it on right now, I know how much gas I got, it will say I'm on E. And then later on, it will kind of go up a little bit. You get what I'm saying? It'll kind of go down, but I know how much gas I got in this car, so I'm good. So. But just learn your car and then you'll be straight. The last and final con is that it can burn oil. So check often. So like I say like every 1,000 miles, that's what I do. I check my oil, 
make sure I got enough oil in there. If not, I top it off. But I never had any oil consumption problems. Like I never had like burning oil with the Jeep with, with my car. Maybe not yet, because this car is still the engine is still fairly young. It's only at 94k. So um, maybe that's like around a 150 mark when it starts to get a little older and stuff like that. But I never had that problem. Every time I check, always had the right amount of oil. And I do kind of beat on the car just a little bit, but I never had any issues. But a lot of people have brought that up saying that these engines do burn a lot of oil. Now, I don't know if that's the rev up engines. I don't have the rev up engine. I have the regular just VQ 35 DE engine. I don't know if that happens with the with the rev up or, you know, just the regular DE. I don't know. Just just check it you know it doesn't hurt to check i haven't ran into those problems so i can't really speak on it but i heard a lot about it i just wanted to mention it as a con because it tends to happen with these cars but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did go ahead and leave me a like if you haven't watched the pros and cons uh video with the g37 i dropped two with that car the, the first one and the second one go ahead and watch it um real good game information that i'm giving out on both of these cars but in the comments below let me know what i missed or let me know what i made a good point about um in the video also just comment and let me know if you did like the video if you want more videos like this let me know in the comments and i'll be the end of the video see you on the next one peace